All right, here with Andrew Tabidi of the Money Team. Uh, should be having a, a post-victory interview, but instead we're having an interview about what never was. Uh, Andrew, you're supposed to have a fight. The guy pulled out last minute. What happened? Uh, I was um, I see actually I see my opponent. He was um in the back. I seen him walking behind me, but um, I was ready. My my um, hands wrapped, equipment on. Then um, they came in. They said the fight's canceled. The guy didn't even want to take the drug test. But you know, it's, it's, it happens in the pros, you know. So it's time for me to move on. Uh, I'm a little bummed because it's, that was the biggest stage in history, and that's the, that's the place I wanted to fight at. Oh, so you, so your understanding was that he didn't pull up. I mean, that he didn't want to take the test. That was your understanding, not that he was scared or anything else. Um, it was it, it was two it was two different um, sides, but I, I heard it. Was, he was scared. He didn't want to take a test. So. And now, now you had said I, I talked to you before the fight, and you said that he kind of crashed the uh, the open workouts and that kind of thing. And, and you had heard. You're not saying, but you had heard that he had maybe had too much fun before, and he was a little inebriated going in the ring. Yeah, um, I heard he was drunk, or you know. That's that's what people they come out here to Vegas and they go out and party, mm -hmm. and that's just what that's that's what they be about. When okay. they come out here. And and you touched on it that you were kind of bummed. Oh, you know what was it like when you got you know you're all excited, just your second pro fight here you are getting on the biggest stage and you know probably in boxing history, part of Floyd Mayweather card. Um, how disappointing is that when you got the news? Um, it started hitting me when I started seeing everybody else fight. You know, and, um, so I, so I was I was real bummed about it, but you know just I just keep on moving forward. And then you went right back out there, right? So your fight was canceled. Linnell yeah. Bellows took uh, took your spot as a number one fight, and then you were out there backing him. And yeah. And so, so what was that like being out there and, and knowing that should have been your spot? Um, it, it was it, it was um it, it was it was messed up, but um, but you know, as long as, long as I get the support, you know, the other teammates, so right. it's all right. Now overall, it was a, a pretty good night for the money team. Uh, you know, obviously Floyd took care of his business. All the guys in the undercard won. Uh, just Ishe and and Ashley Camp a little bit short. Um, what was it like though for you? You know, the attitude. You know, for the most part, everyone's happy backstage. But but for you, how, how were your emotions knowing that that you didn't get to be involved? At least you know, fighting. Yeah, I was I was bummed the whole I was bummed the whole day. My emotions was messed up, but you know, um, you know, I was a little happier because I got paid at least. You know, still got paid, but. <laughs> You know, I just, you know, I just, I just, as the fight's going on, I just dropped it and just, you know, had my emotions on just being there. And it, it was a blessing just being, you know, part of the money team on, on the biggest court and just being there. Well, what about the whole build up to the fight, Alicia? You know, you did get a lot of attention from meeting other people that way, um, you know, with, with the press conferences and all that kind of stuff. You did get to meet a lot of people and, and kind of introduce yourself. So, so what was that like being a part of the, the whole uh, festivities leading up to the fight? Uh, it was pretty exciting, you know, it was. It was it was unbelievable, and I, I just wanted to show I wanted to um, show everybody my skills. So, but um, it is what it is. Anyone they stand? See me. Anyone stand out that you got to meet that was was pretty cool for you? Anybody I meet? Um, I met Justin Bieber. That's what was pretty cool. Uh, I, I met Two Chains. Uh, that's about it. I, I seen a couple people. I seen Denzel. But uh, you know. You get to talk down. I saw you at B Hop there. Was that pretty cool? Getting to oh, get yeah. talk down a little bit. Oh yeah, B Hop. I forgot B Hop. <laughs> He's really pretty, um, really um, pretty cool dude. Mm. Um, has good stories, good advice. So you know, I appreciate him. I asked him, I asked him, can I um, spar him? He turned me down though. <laughs> Doesn't want no part of a big young bull like <laughs> you, right? right. <laughs> um, <clears throat> let me ask you this: as far as you know, we'll, we'll keep Floyd out of it because you know his performance was pretty, uh, pretty amazing. But are the other guys who who really stood out that that you saw that impressed you? Uh, Lanell Bellows, yeah, Lanell Bellows. He uh, he got the guy. He got the guy out on um, first round with body shot. That impressed me. So that was pretty cool. And then what about that Floyd performance? That was uh, did that surprise even you? How how well and how how much he dominated the fight despite what yeah, uh, he, one judge had to say anyway. Yeah, uh, that surprised me a lot. You know he you know he dominated like very easy. You know very very easy. I think that was like one of the easiest fights I ever seen Floyd fight. You know you know that guy's strong young. And he just dominated him very easy. It's, it's crazy. So uh, he's, man, he's the best right now. I like to ask this guy: If you were trying, how many rounds would you have given Canelo? If you were trying to give him rounds, I was trying to give him rounds. I, 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 what you mean, like um? How many could you have awarded him in that fight if you were really, you know, if you were biased towards him? Was the most you could have given him? Because I, I, I maybe I, could have I, made I, a case for three, and that's really stretching yeah, it. I say, I say, I, I would say, I would say four. I would give him like four. It, it would be like the first four. Yeah. You know, around the first beginning, you know, beginning of the, um, the fight. But anyway, in the world, you can give him six. <laughs> nah.
if uh, if 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 Canelo wouldn't go, if if he wasn't if he if he was going to do something in the beginning, he wasn't going to do nothing at all mm -hmm. because um, Floyd he's real patient. So it, that's time to, and to get on Floyd. All right. So after the fights were all over, what you guys do? Did you hang out with the other guys? You, you head off by yourself, or what? What'd you do? Uh, no, I just hang out by myself. You know, just did my own thing. Yeah. All right. So so obviously disappointment there. What's next for for Andrew? I know you got one fight under your belt. You need to get. Uh, I know you're anxious to get back out there. So what, what's next for for you? Um, we just look for another date. Um, hopefully under the Jelly on car when he.